everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about some useful treatment tips for nausea. Now, I suffer with nausea loads because I have IBS um, and a condition called endometriosis, which both cause nausea. So I'm gonna share with you the tips that have worked for me and after doing a bit of research on what has been found to be helpful for other people as well. So before I get into it, my name is Samantha, so welcome to my channel. Let's get into this video. So right at the top of the list is ginger. Now ginger is known to be very helpful for mild nausea. So I just want you to know that if you feel like you're already on the way to, you know, being sick and coughing your guts up, it's probably not going to be that helpful. But if you can catch it in the earlier stages, it's very soothing for your stomach. Um, and it's also really good for morning sickness for expecting mothers. But you want to try real ginger. So I mean, you wanna chop up the root of ginger and pour boiling water over it add a bit of sugar or some sweetener. If you've got a sensitive stomach related to IBS like me, then definitely try sugar instead of the sweetener because sweetener can obviously um, be a problem with some people with IBS. Um, so do try ginger. So all you need to do is chop up um, the ginger root and pour hot water over it with your added sweetener of choice, whether it be sugar or whether it be sweetener and you should find that that will help mild nausea. Now the next one on the list is peppermint. Peppermint is really good for IBS as well and it is one of the best things for nausea. Now another good thing with it is, is it's really easy to get hold of. Um, you can basically get it when you're out and about. It's easy when you're out and about to use it as a treatment because you can easily go and buy some mints. I would advise, however, don't buy gum. Gum is only going to get your stomach moving and in the way of acids and the liquids moving in your stomach, which is probably going to make nausea worse. So you want to just have a mint or try a peppermint tea. Again, try and go for fresh peppermint leaves with hot water rather than the teas because they don't have enough of the actual good stuff from the peppermint, the same as the ginger. You need to actually have the fresh versions. You can also buy peppermint in capsule form in chemists and a lot of health food shops. Um, this is also a helpful and handy thing to keep in your bag at work or when you're out and about because they are known to be quite helpful for nausea and in particular people with IBS related nausea and just IBS symptoms as well. Now the next one on the list is a personal favourite, <laughs> favourite you know, um, of mine and that is ranitidine. Uh, ranitidine is an anti-acid, a bit like Gaviscon, um, but it's just in tablet form, it's not um, a liquid. Um, now, it obviously is an anti-acid treatment. The thing is, often when you feel sick, it can be related to having too much or too little stomach acid. So obviously, um, anti-acids are for too much acid, though. Um, so if you do have too much stomach acid, Ranitidine can be very helpful. Often that can be why you're feeling sick because the acid levels are too high in your stomach. Um, I find ranitidine are extremely good. They are the best anti-acid by far that I have personally found. Now this is my opinion of course and what I have found has worked for me. Um, so I would definitely advise trying them. Sometimes they are known as Zantac. Zantac is a brand that makes ranitidine tablets. Um, now, I find Zantac, the brand is better than Ranitidine that I buy in the supermarket. I don't know why, I just find it better. So I would definitely recommend a good anti-acid. So the next one on the list is Diet Coke. Um, I found this out from another YouTuber called Jessica. Um, it would be awesome if she saw this video. Um, her videos have really helped me. Um, so I just want to give her a shout out there. I don't know if she'll see it, but if she does, your Diet Coke um, 
recommendation really helped me so I also want to recommend Diet Coke. So obviously Diet Coke's not the healthiest thing, um, but with Diet Coke um, and also the zero versions of these drinks, is where they add so much sweetener, it makes these drinks quite sickly, so therefore they have to add an anti-emetic. So that is really good for nausea. But I would definitely say, as Jessica says, drink it through a straw so that it doesn't damage your teeth, um, obviously, or to reduce damage, because obviously this isn't a healthy option, but I found it really helpful as well. Now, what I would personally say is don't gulp it though, and just have a small amount. Don't drink like loads of it, because you might just end up filling yourself up with loads of gas. And, and therefore making your nausea worse. So just be mindful when you're drinking it to sip it and drink it slowly and just have it in small amounts. Um, but yeah, uh, it's very helpful and please do try it and let me know how you get on. Now, the fifth one on the list is apple cider vinegar and diet lemonade. It's a very old fashioned cure that has been found to be extremely helpful, so I definitely recommend trying this one. However, if you do suffer with having too much stomach acid or stomach ulcers or anything like that, do not drink this. Do not try apple cider vinegar or diet lemonade if you do suffer with this. I can't stress that enough because I suffer with acid, um, but it's meant to be very helpful otherwise. One thing I just want to point out with apple cider vinegar is you must drink it in small amounts because if you drink too much, the side effect is nausea. So I know that's a kind of a weird one, but it has been shown to be really helpful. So just make sure that you only have it in small amounts and if you already suffer with any kind of stomach acid problem to just avoid it. And try some of the other ones on my list. Now, that brings me to my last one. This one's really a personal one that I found out about that is definitely a good extra, and that is C bands. I'm actually wearing them right now. I wear them most of the time. I don't know if you can see. They come in packs of two, and they are acupressure wristbands. So, what they do is they work on the pressure points in your wrist that controls um, the body's response to nausea. So really I found that they're good as an extra. I always try one of these other things alongside using the C-bands. I wear C-bands nearly all the time because I suffer with nausea nearly every day of my life. Um, for whatever reason, be it my IBS or my endometriosis, I don't know, but I know that I suffer a lot, so I tend to just keep them on. Especially if I'm going out and about, I find that I feel a bit more settled. I'm sure some of it's partly psychological because I feel like, um, you know, that it should stop me feeling sick. But I do think they are helpful. Again, I would say that they're good for mild nausea and motion sickness. So if you're going traveling, they are actually usually used for um, when you're traveling, um, so for travel sickness. So yeah, I would definitely recommend these bands. Um, so you've probably noticed that on the list there isn't actually any anti-sickness medications. So the thing is, is that they just don't really seem to work. Um, they don't work for me anyway. If there's any anti-sickness medications that you found helpful, please drop it in the comments below. I'd love to see what has helped you and it will help other people if you can also list things that you have found have helped you. It doesn't just have to be anti-sickness medications. If you have found anything that has helped your nausea, then please let everyone know in the comments. Um, so yeah, I haven't actually found one that's really helped that much. The only one that helps in the slightest is sturgeon, which is basically just for travel sickness. Again, mild nausea, it's not going to help if you're like about to throw your guts up. Um, so yeah, if you found anything that helps really, really bad nausea, then please let me know in the comments about that as well. 
Um, thank you so much for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Please do that. I make a ton of videos um, on IBS, endometriosis and migraine and all the symptoms that go alongside it. So there will be plenty of content that should really help you and hopefully make your life a bit easier. The goal of my videos is always to help you guys and also educate you to try and make your lives easier um, because having all these horrendous symptoms make life really hard. This is coming from someone that suffers herself. Um, I feel ill a lot of the time, most days of my life in fact, I have some problem <laughs> with how I'm feeling. Today I don't feel well actually, I've not felt well for the past three days um, and um, so I felt like it was a good time to make these videos for you guys um, just to share with you what I find helpful for when I don't feel alright. Hopefully um, this video and the tips I'm giving you will make your quality of life a bit better. If these have helped you please do let me know. Um, I will speak to you in my next video and again thank you for watching.